and here we are back on my oh so familiar mobile phone the Android Nexus 5X bit old let me go on that and continuing our look at mobile applications for NAS and today we're going to look at the Synology Drive application now Synology Drive is an application for mobile iOS and Android and of course there's the DSM 6.2 um, desktop version of that app and of course even a desktop application for Windows and Mac systems and what this is is meant to serve as an alternative to the likes of Dropbox and Google Drive because there's no denying it when it comes um, when it comes down to it as good as NAS is a lot of the time the ease of upload and download that you find in uh, the likes of Google Drive and Dropbox is very appealing indeed we can own a NAS, but sometimes it's just so much easier to use Google Drive and Dropbox because of their user interface being so simple. And moreover, the fact that this one app can open everything. Now, Synology heard this, and then they came up with Synology Drive. If we open this bad boy up, and what this is, is a one-point portal of access to all of your files. So rather than going to File Manager for Files, uh, DS Photo for Photos, DS Audio for Music, what this gives you is all of your NAS via one access point and therefore be able to open all the different kinds of files. Now, uh, DS file was a little bit underwhelming. It, the QNAP one was definitely better. It gave you a better degree of control. But Synology's counterpoint with this is definitely something to be interested in. So it opens up here um, in the My Drive application. And straight away, you can create folder structures. You can upload a photo or a recording. And this is something we saw on the QNAP application, but not on the Synology. The fact that right now, I can take a photo with the camera. Do it the way Here I am, back in my study. Take a picture there. Upload the picture. And it really is as straightforward as that. And then the photo gets uploaded to whichever directory you happen to be in. And the same thing can be done with video. The same thing can be done with any file, a folder or file. You can create a folder very quickly. And you know what? We're actually just going to call this folder quickly. Then boom, you're creating folders that easily. And you can change it to thumbnail view or just file view like this. And you can do multiple selections as you would in any file manager app. But that's not the real um, appealing point about uh, Synology Drive. The idea about Synology Drive is it's meant to act as a one-point portal access to all of your files for both backing up to and retrieving files from. So in terms of photos and pictures, nice and simple, if we go into all, the, all my pictures directory that we've looked at before, and this time we'll look at a trip to Bournemouth. We took a bunch of us as couples. We'll look at a ridiculous picture of my friends, and it opens up, and again, this is using the Synology Drive application, as you can see. You can star it, you can add tags, you can add labels, and I believe there's ways to synchronize this with your Synology Moments application for that facial recognition. Um, if you go to the information, you can find out lots of information about it, along with labels and more, and the picture itself can be zoomed into, you can do everything you need to do. You can't really do anything in the way of editing on this software. It's not really geared towards that as a user, but again, you can share the photo with other users quite easily. If you want to share it, you click it, and then you've got all the different options with that link. Um, moreover, you can obviously copy, download, uh, and move over to anywhere you like. But say we don't want to look at photos, we want to look at videos. So let's have a look at uh, home videos, shall we? Um, let's go for... There we go, a lightsaber fight. Why not? Now, if I remember, the picture quality is pretty poor on this. And straight away, as you can see, it is asking if we want to open it with the default Google app, which I found a little disappointing. Now, we can set this up to open up with the DS video, but again, I don't really want that to be the case. We can open it with VLC, and again, not really, I mean, as good as VLC can be, it's still not really letting us open it too quickly. But if we go into the support for VLC and Synology, it seems to be very patchy. QNAP really have got that um, tailored up quite nicely for themselves. But say we look at using the default application on my phone. Straight away, doesn't seem to be playing, which is a little disappointing. Okay, let's try one more um, application. Do you know what? Just for a giggle, let's use the QNAP application to open up this file. And it doesn't support this codec. So maybe this has been a poor example, not really fair on the application 
if we look in mp4 file for now but even then that is a little disappointing it's not being able to open these files straight away if we open up an mp4 here um open up some of these movie files from before let's have a look at that let's go for um do you know what let's go for die hard 2 why not See, it's able to open this, so obviously it was a codex problem earlier on, but we're not seeing anything in the form of transcoding. But nevertheless, a little disappointing there that it wasn't able to open the video within its own media player. Um, now, that time that MP4 did open in this app, I don't know if you spotted that. Actually, for the sake of fairness, I probably should do that again, um, just to show which application was opening up. So let's go back into it. Hopefully it will reopen it nice and quick. And it appears to be opening it within the Google application, which again, a little disappointing. Um, oh, it appears to be in Drive. I take that back. But again, for now, I think we are going to have to hold off judgment on this application um, with regard to the playback of video files in Synology Drive. It does seem to be a little patchy and definitely something <coughs> for Synology to address later on. But if we go back to this application... I'm not mashing the pad like I have done. Blame my phone, not the app. What are we doing? We're not in that application. Do you know what? I could edit this out, but I'm not going to. Let's be honest about it. Let's, let's keep it on that I made that error. Now, what about music files? Let's play a music file. So let's go for, uh, again, personal favourite, the Dark Souls soundtrack. Let's go for Bed of Chaos. pause that and come back to that later on so it does play within the Synology Drive application which is nice um, let's look at uh, documents PDFs that sort of thing let's open up a PDF here's the PDF and it unfortunately has been opened in the Google PDF um, application which again isn't great for the app. One would assume you'd, they would want to use their own proprietary app for that. But again, let's have a look at the document application. And again, this is Google Doc. So again, maybe I need to have some uh, Synology tools downloaded, but I don't believe the Office tools are available as a mobile download. A little disappointing there. Last, we have a RAR file here. Let's see what happens if we try to open a RAR file. I don't know why it's asking me to open a PDF, a little bit strange. So at the moment, I've got to say I'm a little bit underwhelmed by its file opening capabilities. It's kind of been 50% success rate here. Um, maybe there's a codec pack required, who knows. But right now, it's Synology Drive application is nowhere near, for me, as good as Google um, Drive and Dropbox at this time. It's still a great app, but it's still not bridging all the tiny little hesitancies that make Google Drive and Dropbox so appealing to me. I like the fact I can add photos and stuff straight away. That's quite nice. And it is a bloody good effort. It's definitely better than any of the file manager apps I've seen from any other NAS brand. But it's still not tip top. There's obviously team folders for when you want to collaborate using the likes of Synology's chat application and Synology calendar. Shared items when you've got files that you want to distribute to other users and keep track of them. Recent start, recycle bin, and of course, background tasks. It is a good application. I'm not going to doubt that, but it's not at, as good as it can be and definitely not as good as the DSM 6.2 uh, platform app or the desktop apps that you can get right now for desktop systems. Nonetheless, this has been Synology's Drive application. If you want to learn more, do check out the other videos and I'll be doing a couple of surveillance videos very, very soon. But otherwise, thank you so much for watching and I'll see you next time.